Yeah, that's right, Doug. APD was supposed to show up to a meeting here tonight to compare the number of accidents involving officers here in Albuquerque to other cities similar in size. But tonight, APD says they're having trouble getting that information. The head of the Civilian Police Oversight Board tells me she thinks that's an excuse and she's fed up with it. It shouldn't be rocket science. I mean, we have rocket scientists in Albuquerque. <laughs> if we need them, but I, I don't think this is that. She may be laughing, but Civilian Police Oversight Board Chair Joanne Fine is far from happy. Today was APD's deadline to turn over a report about how the number of crashes involving APD officers compares to cities similar in size. By a report, I mean I, I would like a written report. And that's that was the plan to give yeah. you. But after two months, APD's data analyst showed up to tonight's meeting empty handed. She claims she's having a hard time getting other departments to give her their numbers. The dog ate my homework. I, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's frustrating. This crash is the reason Fine is so frustrated. It's been nearly two months since Officer Jonathan McDonald slammed into this family's SUV, killing six year old Joel Sweena. We later found out Officer McDonald had been disciplined for five other crashes before the this one. The board says this is a very serious concern for them, but doesn't seem to be as much of a concern for APD. I don't understand well, the lack of seriousness with this. We are rife with uh, concerns about the police department not being responsive at all or not being responsive quickly. Fine tells me she plans to take this issue to higher ups in the department. Now tonight, Fine also tells me she plans to take those concerns directly to the Department of Justice as well. Live in downtown Albuquerque tonight, I'm Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.